How come you're not using co-pilots? Because I don't need a co-pilot. You know what I mean? I have one seat. I have one fucking seat. You know what I mean? One seat. There's one, one place here. You see? Look at this. One place. There is, no, there is no place for a co-pilot in my house. I am the driver's seat. There is, there is no AI. There is no nobody else. There is no pair programmer that will ever basically write code in my editor. It's not gonna happen. The only thing that 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 is okay are suggestions. Like these, these, these. Uh, you see, like this. Var, enter. That's the only thing. It's just because I'm lazy, right? I don't want to have bytes in my program that I did not think of. Because what a lot of people don't understand is that they think, uh, I, on Twitter, for example, it's, I need to ban these guys every single day, right? And it takes me a lot of time and I do it when I'm taking a shit at the toilet. I'm banning these boys. These chat, GPT, and co-pilot boys, right? Because they say, oh, and... Look at this, I have no coding experience and I made a Flappy Bird game by ChatGPT4, whatever it is, maybe it's five uh, in a couple months, who knows, right? But do we, does he know how to make that game now? No. No, he didn't. He, he has a Flappy Bird game, which already exists, right? Which already exists. It's made by chat by chat GPT-4 and he has no coding experience. What benefit does he has in his life, right? Nothing, because he don't know how to program. Also, he, he, also after, after thing, he doesn't know. If you want to make a special Flappy Bird game with special mechanics, with special um, new improvised new mechanics that doesn't exist yet in the world which is which is making a game right if you want to make a game you're gonna you're gonna experiment with new mechanics with new fresh mechanics that nobody experienced and that's what chat gpt4 not cannot do for you it can only predict based on what it knows it can only predict based on on his um on his trained data so it cannot give you new flappy bird so this guy just wastes his time and mine, right? So if I write code, I want to think about something I, I wrote, right? I, I see a problem and I want to think about on how to solve that. And I don't want to have something that, do that, that does that for me because that basically, it does not train me. You're training the language model of chat GPT-4. You're not training your language model. And that's how you become better over time. If you do that for 10, for 15 years, you're gonna be, you're gonna be so fucking full of patterns in your head. Patterns, hard-coded patterns, not like code, but patterns. Like you have a problem. Oh, I can maybe solve that with something I did before there. And it was that kind of pattern. And maybe I can reuse that, but a little bit different. That's what programming is about, right? And if you if you keep using all these tools that does it for you, then you're not gonna train your own vocabulary anymore. You're not gonna train your logical thinking. You're gonna be stupid. You know what I mean? It's although I use I use I, I use ChatGPT GPT four myself a tree actually. I use it myself, but for 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 more, I use it as a Google replacement, right? For example, if I I was basically doing my Vim configuration, and I wanted to know something how i could set uh what was it some some simple option it's just an option and i didn't know how to set it so i basically asked chat gpt gpt4 i cannot even pronounce that stupid and i asked him and he gave me sp some kind of an answer which guided me in the right direction right is that training my patterns no it's not training my patterns it's just i'm I don't want to browse Google because I probably gonna end up with a stack overflow that's not correct and I need to click the next link and maybe click another link and 25,000 cookie pop-ups I need to click and then I'm basically completely uh, frustrated so I'm just gonna ask chat GPT-3 or 4 or whatever number and he's going to give me the answer directly. That's why I'm using it, right? That's why I'm using it for, but not for solutions. No go. 
and get the co-pilot is even bad. Why would you even try this, right? O o o it, although it's a, it's a nice piece of technology, get, don't get me wrong, it's, it, but it's not AI. Everybody thinks it's AI and it's AI. It's just a simple language model that basically predicts based on, and, and people think it's gonna replace jobs, but they, that's because they are stupid, right? That's, that's, you're never gonna see a serious, respectable programmer talk about ChatGPT4 like all these other people on Twitter because they are basically, they just want to sell you something, right? They just want to have followers and it's hype and they are complete dog shit. They are garbage. I block them every single day. I don't care who they are, how much money they make. You suck, right? Simple.